Okay. But first, a bug-ridden, feces-filled apartment with children inside. Good evening to you. I'm Eric Von Eich, and in for Matt tonight. And at Lisa Bell, Daytona Beach police say the kids did not have clean clothes or toys, but one of the parents did have a fresh manicure. We want to get straight out to News 6's Lauren Korn, who is live with more on the arrests in this case. And Lauren, really, just a heartbreaking investigation. Oh, absolutely just terrible, disgusting. You know, police didn't even know about it. They initially got there for a domestic disturbance, but once that officer stepped inside the apartment, he just couldn't believe what he saw inside. 31-year-old Shamika Jenkins and her sister, 27-year-old Melita Jenkins, now out of jail. But not at home, where police say is in deplorable conditions. We would arrest somebody who had an animal living in these conditions, much less young children. Seven children ranging from one to eight years old living in an apartment that reeked of feces and urine. His eyes started watering. Uh, he had to go outside and wash his eyes. Black mold, the officer says, also covered the floor and walls along with flies, roaches, and other bugs. The children in old clothes sitting on dirty mattresses trying to beat the heat as was hotter inside than out. The bathroom also in terrible shape. Police say the fridge only had three jars of peanut butter, jelly, and mayonnaise. Not enough to feed the children. Investigators say the eight-year-old looked to be four or five. Investigators say the officer immediately called DCF to get involved and asked Shamika Jenkins why they're living in filthy conditions. Jenkins blaming management for not cleaning or repairing their home. And we don't know what the situation is there with the apartment complex, but uh, that, that was her excuse. DCF rescued the children, turning them over to family members. Now, that police officer, if you can imagine this, he's been with the department now for 28 years, and he wrote in that report that this is the worst case of child abuse he's ever seen. Lisa? Just awful. Lauren Korn reporting live tonight. Thank you.